and welcome to another video by Warp9 Tech Design. In today's short little video, we're going to talk about how to use spindle pulleys in Mach 3. There are two easy ways to do this. The first way is to use a mock screen to edit your screen set where we would add a DRO number 56, which is the pulley DRO. And the second way to do it is you can add VB macros that will use the command set pulley and pulley range 1, 2, 3, 4, up to whatever that you need. And that's how it works. Please keep in mind, by default, Mach 4 opens to pulley range number 4. So go ahead and open Mach screen, click the open folder, and select the screen set you want to work with, in this case 1024. It will open up, and to the right you see all this gray area on the Mach screen. That's where I click. Right now RPM is highlighted, I click in this gray area, left click, and it deselects. So that is the gray area to deselect. To start with, we'll click on the speed label, right click, copy, right click, paste, and we'll just slide it up because we've got a nice open area there. There's a mock screen properties window. In the mock screen property window, we'll change the speed to P number for pulley number. Hit enter, and we now have a P number there. We'll now left click on the DRO, right click, copy, right click, paste, paste it on top of itself, and we'll use the crosshairs just hovering over it, and drag it up for P number. Now, this is our highlighted one. We can come over here and change it from user to find. And we'll go down to OEM pulley. DRO, right there. Double click on it with the left. And it's now pulley DRO number 56. We can slide this window out of the way. Come up here, click save. And our screen set is now set to use that. We now open up your Mach 3 profile, and if it isn't the screen set you wanted, you can go to load screen, open the one you wanted, and as you can see now, we have P number, and pulley number always defaults to four. Up here in config, we click on config, or spindle pulleys, and we'll see it starts out on four. Perfect. We can come down here now, click on it, Type in 3, hit enter, and we lost the highlighting on it. Config, spindle pulleys, and we now go to number 3. Click down here, it turns blue. Type in 7, enter, config, spindle pulleys, number 7. That's working. The next thing we can do is add a VB macro. And the keyword there will be set pulley, and then pulley range one, two, three, four, or whatever we need. So I'm just going to copy that. So we have it. Back in our Mach 3 instance, we go to Operator, VB Script Editor, and we have our little window right here. I'll just paste in my script and get rid of that little tab key since we don't need that. And I'm just going to click Run. And we go up to config, spindle pulley, and we're on pulley number two. Change this to six, run, and we're on pulley number six. The only thing that would be left for you to do is to save a bunch of these different scripts, and you'd go file, save as, Go into your prof, um, the macros folder, profile you're in, and then you just save it as M406 or whatever number you want. But 401 would be pulley 1, 402 would be pulley 2. Since this is pulley 6, we'll save it as M406. Save. And I'll just make 402 as well now. File, save as. 
402. Close it. Now we just come in here and type M402. Hit enter. Config spindle pulley pulley number two. Okay. M406. We hit enter. Spindle pulley pulley number six. So thank you for watching this short video. That's how you can change your spindle pulley number, either manually on the screen with a DRO or with a VB macro. Take care. Goodbye.